Kukuru still on silent. What is it? I'm sure a lot of you have already seen the super special announcement by Bandai about this new Gundam movie. I think this is Bandai's version of a clickbait, calling it super special announcement. Sort of an overstatement. I mean, the trailer didn't really tell you much. However, it does show Amuro in a Gundam origin style, which is nice. I love the retro Yoshikazu Yasuhiko look. Love it. And it's a nice contrast next to the clean Gundam styling by Katoki Hajime. I love the combination. So it's going to be a Gundam the origin movie. I think the older and longtime fans will like it. I can't really say that for the younger folks though, or newer Gundam fans. Uh, I'm sure many will hate it. So uh, leave a comment on whether you love or hate the Gundam origin. For those that are not familiar with Kukuru's Doan's Island, it was episode 15 of the original Gundam TV series. It's infamous for being badly drawn, and it's a very meme-worthy episode. It's got like two or three famous memes just from that one episode. For example, this famous Gundam face and the slander Zaku. It's so famous that the Extreme Versus game has a version of Doan Zaku that throws rocks at people. For those of you that watched it in the US, you might have missed the episode because it was actually pulled from the US release. Yoshiyuki Tomino was asked why episode 15 was removed from the US DVD release, uh, but he refused to answer. So nobody knows why the episode was removed. But years later, because the popularity of Gundam The Origin, Kukuru's Doan's Island was actually revived, and a spin-off manga was made about the titular character, uh, Kukuru's Doan despite him only appearing in that single episode. So that's kind of interesting. For those of you wanting to know the story, I'll go over that in the end of the video. There might be some spoilers for the movie, just a heads up. The manga delves into Kukuru's backstory all the way from him being part of the Xeon forces up to the point when he deserted the Xeon army. So if you're into Xeon or the original Gundam, it's worth reading. The manga also shows some new mobile suits like the black and white Gundam designed by Katoki Hajime. And both of them were OP the whole time, which was really cool. And they they did a good job portraying them as scary Federation's devils from Xeon's point of view. It's totally worth checking out. Since not much was mentioned in the super special announcement, based on a few seconds of footage, it looks like they'll definitely cover the episode on the island. But I think they might cover the origin manga as well, which uh, tells the backstory of Kukuru's Doan. And I think it's necessary. I think they'll just make the story better. So I'm actually looking forward to the movie. I think it'll be really interesting. So um, maybe spoilers are ahead. Here's the story of episode 15 from the TV Gundam series. Kukuru's Doan's Island. Kukuru's Doan no Shima. The basic story of the episode is about a deserted Xeon soldier, Kukuru Stoan, who accidentally killed several civilians due to the misfire of his god. And then he was ordered by the army to kill the children of this as well. However, he refused and left the Xeon army and ended up raising them on an island. The episode begins with Amuro practicing core fighter docking. Kind of like Force Impulse Gundam, or the other way around actually because uh, Force Impulse came after. And you notice Bright Noah is very strict. He was like, that's too slow. It's a few seconds too slow. While he's practicing, docking, Amuro receives a distress signal and he goes to check it out. And then Gundam gets into this awkward crouching position and then everyone is disturbed by the pose. I did not make this up. On an island, he finds two Federation soldiers tied up, but they die shortly after. He also finds the little kids throwing rocks at them, telling him to get off the island. By the way, throwing things is a major theme of this episode, especially rocks. Amuro then runs to his core fighter to escape, but then Zaku 2 shows up. Kukurus, who's the pilot, wants Amuro to surrender, but he refuses. In the end, Kukurus throws a boulder at the incoming missiles, and the blast causes Amuro to crash and lose conscious. Later, Amuro wakes up and finds out Kukurus has hidden his core fighter and refused to return it to him. And then after, Amuro just hangs out on the island. He goes for a swim on the beach. However, a little bit later, when the Xeon forces attack the island, the core fighter was returned to Amuro. And together, they fight off the Xeon forces. And it was during one of the fight sequence that we see the famous ugly Gundam head meme. Check it out. It's, it's wonderful. During the fight, Amuro finds out that Kukuru is taking care of the children to atone for killing their parents, and he felt bad for him. Kukuru then further explained that he refuses to use firearms after the incident, and proceeds to show Amuro his mobile suit martial arts. He punches the attacking enemy Zaku with a karate straight punch, destroying it like this. Ooh. In the end, Amuro throws Kukuru's Zaku into the ocean in hopes that he won't be pursued by the Xeons again. And that's the episode. I think the story is kind of interesting. I really hope the movie will elaborate the story on the island a bit more and also incorporate the origin story for Kukuru's Doan from the manga. You guys should check out the manga. I'm not going to spoil it, but we'll find out. We'll see what happens. Leave in the comments to let everyone know if you're looking forward to the movie or not. It's okay to hate it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.